Watch how we transform this kitchen by coating these countertops, dining table, and some custom backsplash. We will coat right over wood for the countertops and backsplash and over epoxy for the dining table. You're not going to want to miss this video. We show you every step of our process. You're going to see how Ligari can give a space a fresh new look. All right guys, cool little project here for you. We're gonna be coating countertops, uh, dining, small dining table, and also backsplashes. So I'll kind of bring you up to speed. They wanted to get this done in a hurry, so I told them, hey, if you guys prep it, get it ready, we'll show up, we'll shoot a cool video, um, and we'll make it look like some high-end uh, granite, marble, whatever you want to call it. So what they did was they built the tops, they rebuilt the tops, they, they actually painted these cabinets. These used to be some old nasty oak cabinets, so they painted these rearranged some of them this didn't have a dishwasher now they're going to have a dishwasher um, they also bumped these cabinets up because the microwave was down here basically touching the counter so they bumped these up so the microwave could be off the counter now they can have a stove there and have room to use that and then they built the new tops at a, a two sheets of three quarter inch mdf and then a piece of base trim nailed and screwed on and then went through bonded all the seams sanded it smooth um, they also caulked the back gap back here make sure if you guys are doing that make sure you're using paintable caulking as long as it's paintable our primers are going to bond to that and then they level them these are pretty so it's an old guest house so it's pretty crooked flooring shim the counters to get those level and then the table we coated this a long time ago um, and we're gonna re actually recoat this for them. And then we have the backsplashes here. So what we did on these, they cut them, they dry fitted, made sure they fit right. And then we're just putting them on two by fours on the side. And then this little piece of trim is gonna keep it off of the two by four. That way it doesn't get locked into that two by four. It, material can kind of float, um, drip off these edges without locking it in. This is, these are obviously a little toss up, you know, doing them like this. So we might twist these a little bit. They just screwed in the ends here so these boards won't fall over. So we'll probably have to kind of twist them to get them as close to level as we can. Um, and then we're just gonna pour onto these, let it flow off. And then on, on the countertop, we'll tape the edge, the face. That way we can hold that shape. Once it kind of sets up a little, we'll pull the tape. And we're gonna be using our epoxy pigments for this project. I think we're doing our dolphin gray ash gray and then our pigmented white so those are the three colors we're going to use on these counters and they want them all the same so we're going to do the counters the same the the table the same and then the backsplash obviously the same as the counter so i'm going to get the primer mixed up we'll put the primer on i probably won't talk a lot through this because they got a bobcat going drills uh concrete saws are doing a lot of stuff on this property so i'll just kind of talk before each step Tell you guys what we're doing and then we'll go into mixing and, and showing you guys how to apply it.
So I'm gonna go over um, what I'm doing for mixing this, this kit. We have 50 square feet in there with the, the counters, the backsplash, and also the table. And I wanna incorporate some of our pigmented white. So I need three gallons of resin, eight ounces per square foot for this process because we're gonna tape those faces, we're gonna pour it thicker. You just get cooler looks. Um, when you pour resin thick, you don't have to manipulate it as much. So what I did is I took a three quart kit of our white. So this is our white pigmented epoxy, three quarts. And then I have a three quart kit of our clear metallic epoxy. So there's a gallon and a half. And then I have a gallon and a half of our metallic epoxy here. And so what I did is I poured out the part A's of the white, the two part A's of the, the three quart kit in the container. And then I poured out all of the part A's of the gallon and a half and the three quart kit into here. And then this clear resin is what I'm gonna tint with our uh, epoxy pigments. We're gonna be doing ash gray and dolphin gray. So we'll go, I'll go, you guys will see kind of how I split those up. But I'm just kind of getting these ready to mix. And so I already have the part A in both of these. So when I'm ready to start, I'm gonna add the part B's into the clear, and then I'm gonna add the part B into the pigmented white, and then I'll mix these up. After the clear's mixed up, I'm gonna use secondary mixing containers as well, and you'll see that. That way we ensure that the resin's thoroughly mixed, and then I'm gonna split the clear into two, and then I'm gonna add my pigments, my epoxy pigments, and that's gonna create our other gray colors. And then we're gonna go in there, we're gonna tape off the faces to create a dam on all the edges. Besides the backsplash, we probably won't tape the backsplashes off. Um, and then we're gonna dump these out, solid colors everywhere in a pattern, blend it with a squeegee, disperse it with isopropyl, and then once that isopropyl evaporates about five, 10 minutes, we'll mist it with denatured alcohol. And this gives, just gives you a really cool, natural um, granite look. Um, and it's very simple to do. And since we're using so much resin, um, it's very easy to apply. There's enough to flow over our edges once we pull the tape. So we'll get that, those counters coated, let it set up for about a half an hour, maybe 45 minutes, pull the tape, let that flow over the face. Um, and then we'll come back the next day and apply the top coat.